Good morning. I'm here in Usley, uh, in the London borough of Hillingdon, for the grand opening of the community's newly refurbished library. The formalities were over quickly this morning for the opening of Usley Library. It wasn't a day to dwell on the ribbon cutting and speech making, but a day to get down to the business of showcasing all that's new and modern about Usley Library. Usley is one of 17 libraries in the Hillingdon borough to benefit from investment that aims to put libraries back at the centre of the community. It's a grand scheme and one that's put its money where its mouth is. Councillor Henry Higgins was responsible for managing the refurbishment and was firm with staff from the outset on pursuing his aim for Usley. I'm very quite stubborn and my view is as well, I'm going to protect your libraries but if you don't like it, well there's other authorities that you can possibly work for that are closing libraries so the choice is really down to you. And important changes have been made. There are new Mac computers with a faster 10 meg internet connection speed. Out of work local residents are using the computers to write CVs and apply for jobs online, a very proactive step in the gloomy economic climate. They are also popular with the older generation, who are increasingly using them to connect with friends and family around the world. But is there a concern that modern technology is overtaking the need for books? The library is a place for books. However, there is room for modern technology, and we have to realise that I don't think we're going to be in the situation where L, you know, CDs took over from LPs. I don't think that was going to be ever the case with a book because something, it's something very personal to people. But what, what's happened is that we mix it up here. Gone are the days when people simply went to the library to borrow a book. There is an impressive DVD collection for hire, which has gone a long way in changing the views of younger visitors. The Mayor spoke of the need for libraries to respond to the local community and its needs. It makes sense. If you're working um, from you know nine to five, then that's fine. There's a lot of people do um, unsocial hours, so you know being able to come on a Sunday, um, I think would make a lot of sense. In some areas, um, children don't have anybody at home when they finish school, so they can make the library of focal point come back. They're in the warm. Getting kids through the door is a big part of the project. However, perhaps the most significant change is the presence of a rather well-known coffee brand. Who else but Starbucks are now on offer? And in case you'd forgotten altogether you were in a library, the council scheme has even managed to squeeze in an additional 26 metres of shelf space to satisfy even the most peculiar reading habits. If this morning's numbers are anything to go by, it would seem that Usedy's refurbishment has been a success in drawing the community back to the library. Staff insist that since its public opening last week, there have been an average of 200 people per day coming to take advantage of the new services.